Hey guys, Space Marine 658 here. Um, today we are going to be talking about debugging inside of Unreal Engine. Specifically, we're going to cover breakpointing uh, both within the engine and outside of the engine. Uh, the reason why I bring this up is in 5.3, they actually fixed a couple bugs related to breakpointing. Uh, basically, what would happen is with breakpointing certain points of uh, your code, it would actually crash the engine. Um, so they've gone ahead and fixed that. So that should hopefully help this quite a bit. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, so what you're going to want to do very first thing, no matter whether you're doing it in engine or outside of engine, uh, but specifically if you are going to be using code, this you have to do or else you can't break point outside of Unreal Engine. Uh, make sure you have editor symbols for debugging turned on. I know it's a, it seems very large, but once you actually install it, it's much smaller. It took me about 10 gigs of space. Um, so I think this is just a bit of an overestimation. Um, because what it does is if there's other content that is included inside of this, they, you know, you don't need to install that to get this. Uh, but once you have that check marked and it's all installed and ready to go, you'll probably want to restart your computer. Um, and then what you'll go ahead and do is load up your code. Or if you're just doing it in the engine, you can just load up the engine. Um, but for those of you in C++, you'll want to have whatever breakpoints you want. Uh, but then you'll want to do a couple things here. So one, you're going to want to, um, if you're not gonna start with debugging, you can just attach to process. Um, that's, if you just start debugging, it'll automatically actually detect Unreal Engine and add it to process. Uh, but if let's say you're doing start that debugging for whatever reason, um, you'll just wanna make sure that once you've had the engine started, you come in here, type in Unreal Engine and search for the one that says Unreal Engine Editor.exe. Uh, now we're gonna do start with debugging, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, another thing you wanna keep an eye on it's inside of your windows here. Um, once we start it up, we'll actually start starting it up. Um, what we've got here is there's gonna something pop up called modules. Um, we're gonna wanna make sure that that loads all the uh, symbols correctly, because if it doesn't, there are a couple things that you'll need to do to actually fix that. Um, now, if you have followed these steps correctly so far, um, it should just automatically pop up. But sometimes I've noticed um, at least in a couple of recent versions of Unreal Engine, sometimes it, it acts a little funky. Um, so we're gonna let this fully start up and then we'll talk about how to fix some of the problems we have here. Now, of course, this is in 5.2.1. Um, I am still testing 5.3, so I haven't moved my project over to it. And I want to kind of give you all a real world example rather than just showing off um, 5.3, but this is all gonna be exactly the same in 5.3, just less buggy in 5.3. So let's go ahead and as we can see here, it looks like all the symbols load correctly. So here at the top, this is the modules that I was talking about earlier. If this doesn't open up by default, um, what you can do is you can come up to debug windows and then modules or control all U. That'll open up that window up there at the top. Uh, this kind of gives you an idea of just, you know, what's been loaded and everything. And the big thing you want to look for is your user code. As long as most of the user code up here all has symbols loaded, then that should be fine. Uh, another way you can tell is this circle here or down here. If these have a hollow circle, that means that there's a problem. Um, one way you can actually fix that if you are having that issue um, is if you go ahead and um, go over to your options menu here, um, you're gonna wanna go down to debugging and then inside debugging hit symbols. And what you can do is you can hit load all symbols. What this will do is it'll force it to essentially refresh the symbol system um, and that should fix it if for some reason the module just didn't start correctly or just isn't detecting things correctly. Um, that'll actually fix that problem. Um, so what you can see here is when you load up um, Unreal Engine with your uh, debugging started, um, you're gonna notice you've got a few options. You've got your call stack, you've got your autos, locals, uh, breakpoints, exception settings, command window, um, any of the important things. The big thing here is gonna be your breakpoints. Um, this is a really handy window to just get an overview of all the different breakpoints you have. So if there's one you're specifically wanting to target, um, you can set up conditions around it. So an example here, I can right click my breakpoint and I can either delete it or remove it or whatever, or I can do that down there. Um, in fact, you can delete all down there. Uh, but you can also give it conditions. So you can say, I only want this to fire if this happens. So as an example, I've got the result plus equals sum and I. I can say, you know, if our count is equal to five, um, and that means that I can make it so that this breakpoint only really fires when I want to see something very specific. So it's super handy. Um, 
let's go ahead and actually just trigger this breakpoint so I can kind of show you what that looks like. So now I have created a function within my player character um, that I am using for a future video. Um, I'm doing a bit of testing on how big the performance difference is between um, Unreal Engine, um, C++ Pure, C++ and Blueprints, and then Blueprints Pure. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of what the performance changes have been over the past few years because there was a really popular video a long time ago that kind of showed the difference. Um, so let's go ahead and hit that key to fire that off. As you can see here, the breakpoint takes me over here. Um, it gives me some values within our autos and then as well, um, you can see our call stack. So we've got basically a full breakdown of everything that happened. So we can kind of see everything that is going on here. And the cool thing with this is this allows us to really break down, you know, what exactly values are going into our functions, you know, how they're being used. And then up here, you've got all of your normal, you, know, you can step into, step over, step out of, um, you can restart it or you can show next statement. Um, this is really handy when you're debugging really complex functions and you can really step through them piece by piece and make sure that you're doing all the correct things. Um, so let's go ahead and, um, jump out of this and stop debugging. All right. Um, and now we're just going to open up. In fact, I'm going to remove the breakpoint here. Um, so that's basically the overall idea of how to just do breakpoints inside of um, Unreal Engine C++. Now we're going to cover how to actually do it inside of the engine itself, because you can actually do breakpoints within the engine itself. Um, and this can be really handy for people that are um, either doing things in blueprints or if you're doing things in both and you just want to um, have a more visual way to see the breakpoints. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Let's go ahead and open this up here. And the cool thing is it's very similar to doing it in C++ in terms of you just go to wherever you want to have a breakpoint, just add a breakpoint. Just hit save. And we can literally fire off. Just hit that forward slash and then boom. And it takes us in here visually. Um, so we have all of the same information. So we go here, we can see, yeah, we can see some of the values being returned. Now, of course, this is the first time this function is being fired. So there's really not much in, um, in here that can really be seen. But as an example here, see now this has returned some information. We can actually see what this returns exactly. So the now function looks like it returned the exact date, the uh, sorry, for the, the exact year, followed by the month, followed by the day, and then it has a dash and then it gives us a timestamp. Um, so when this timestamp fired, it was 1017.48. Now, the cool thing with this is that these these sort of like in-depth looks at this can tell you a lot of information about what exactly your blueprint is doing because um, you may have a guess at what you know this is going to return but by being able to open this you can get an exact viewpoint of what this is doing. so let's actually just step to the next node so when this print string fires so it fires this function right and the print string fires it goes okay what's actually, you know, being returned. So we have here, you know, this is getting the total millisecond. So it gets the now, so the elapsed time, and then it gets the time at, at the time that we originally got it here, subtracts the two, and that gives you this value here. And then that gets turned into total milliseconds, which is the 69,000 milliseconds here. And then we return it here. Now it's so high 69,000 milliseconds because it's, you know, inside of that is something you have to be aware of when you are doing uh, breakpoints is that some of the time numbers can be a little off just because of how you're actually stepping through things. Um, but yeah, and then we can continue to step forward through the delay. Um, and if you want to, you can keep walking forward, but as of right now, uh, that's good enough for me. And it's as simple as that. And now you can just remove, uh, remove the breakpoint and you're able to go back to running like normal. So it's super handy to have um, tools like that because it allows you to sort of break down your functions um, and actually look in deep into what exactly it's doing. 
And so it's one of the handiest tools you can have when you're actually doing some troubleshooting uh, or any kind of bug fixing. Um, but yeah, so that is how to do breakpoints in both Unreal Engine uh, Blueprints as well as C++. If you have any other questions, concerns, comments, definitely leave them down below. Um, but otherwise, I look forward to seeing you guys next week where I'm going to be covering the exact difference in performance for Blueprints versus C++. Uh, if you'd like to get informed when that video goes live, definitely subscribe down below. And if you actually hit the bell icon, you can actually set yourself uh, to receive notifications whenever I release videos. Um, always good luck, good hunting.